Hey guys, what is going on? I'm back with game two of this best of three set with Osiris VGC. If you guys don't know who he is, uh, he's Lee Provost. Um, he's a European commentator and VG slash VGC player. Uh, he's very, very, very good at this game. If you guys didn't watch game one, please go watch that. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but uh, if you guys seen what happened, you guys would know that he's a very, very good player. Uh, but yeah... Uh, Okay, well, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, I lost game one. Um, I played two of the turns very poorly, and which ended like pretty much cost me the game. But I ended up playing the game out to see a couple stuff. But we know for sure that that Lele has Z move. Um, Arcanine is carrying the Bulldoze. Uh, so I how now how do I uh. uh How do I come back from this? Is the question, guys. I feel like going with the Coco Porygon 2 lead. Uh, get myself into Trick Room, be able to switch my Gigalith in, and my Arcanine in. And the rest should be history. Uh, Cartana, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this, guys. Uh, I, he has to deny my Trick Room, thus leading me to go with the uh, Coco Leader. I could go for the turn one Sky Drop play onto the, um, yeah, I think this is what I'm gonna go with. I'm super duper scared, though, of the, uh, circuitry. If I don't play my cards right, it could be the end. So, I think this is what I'm going to go with. Oh, I don't know if he picked his team. Hopefully he did. Uh, I don't know if he did, but... I'm scared of that Zerkatry. He could go for the... Uh, I don't think he's bringing Nitals at all this game. Against me. It's too risky, because if I just switch in that Gigalith... Or lead with that Gigalith... Uh, it wouldn't be too good for him. But I'm going to go with the Coco P2. Hopefully he goes back to uh, Lele Arcanine. I see nothing wrong with that lead. Yeah, he does go with the Lele Arcanine. Okay. Oh. That's actually... Uh, Hold the phone, guys. Oh my god, wait. This is not good. Wait, no, this is fine. I'm so... Uh, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. I'm gonna go for the Sky Drop play. And go... Actually... I wanted to go for Nature's Madness and Shadow Ball. I don't know if it's Sky Chop. Trick Room. He goes for the Helping Hand. So Sky Chop. No, oh my god, I clicked Trick Room. Oh, I hate myself, I hate myself, I hate myself, I hate myself, I hate myself. I hate myself. How could I, oh, uh, I messed up, I misclicked. I misclicked, I misclicked. Oh my god. Uh, I was like, where is my top of Coco button? This is how you know I'm so rusty in game. Oh, that is annoying. That is annoying. It's not, oh my god. I was gonna shadow ball the Arcanine, but it's not good. It's definitely not good. Depending on what he goes for, this is very bad. He would do Arcanine, okay. Also, so I go for the sky drop. Oh, 
That was a definite misclick. I didn't mean to do that, guys. is the only way I ha um the only thing I have to deal with uh that's bad all right uh I have to nature's madness again and go for the shadow ball oh he switched out of cell still okay Arcanine Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, guys, we're good. We're good. That was so weird. Okay, I did not intend for any of that to happen, but we'll take what we can get. Um, We have the Porygon 2 at full health, there's nothing stopping that. He has to switch into Garchomp in here to get any sort of offensive pressure onto the uh, Coco. Uh, Celestial coming here is not the best thing that you want, um, but, seeing the way that Lee has been playing, kind of, like, inclines me to go for the Volt Switch play onto the, uh, the, uh, I want to Volt Switch and Shadow Ball the Celestial and put it into, uh, Flare Boots Carry Orange, but, uh, I lose nothing from that, because anyways, I'm going to Toxic the Arcanine. So, we'll do that. Lee is not... I already, like, kind of... The way he was playing game one, there were certain plays that I was just like, whoa. But I was getting read like a book, and I was already um down after turn. I did a lot. That's crit. The Arcanine comes in. Oh, so he doubles into the Arcanine, let's just say. Flare Blitz into this, and I also want to Ice Beam, because if he decides to switch into the Chomp, he could also protect Selly to technically switch the Arcanine into Chomp as well, which would be the better player, but uh, this is fine as well. Ugh. He didn't protect his, uh, cell still, uh. Flare Blitz into the... Cell still, uh. And Taunt wears off. So I have multiple options here. The Z move, I gotta note that the Z move was also not. I'm 
just gonna fire blitz and trick her. I think that's pretty safe. Or toxic. No. That should be fine. I'm protect I'm gonna check from here. Yeah, I need trick him. Okay, so yeah, that's it's definitely not Z move. Cause if it was Z move, you would definitely go for a ground Z slash flare blitz that turn, no? Or is that too risky? Or would a good player actually switch out the Porygon too? I still don't know that item, but I'm assuming it's Assault Vest. Because... Well, we'll find out right now, because you protect this turn. You you must protect the stern, I think. With Garchomp. Uh maybe Arcanine. Let's see though. I'm not Sorry about that guys, audio cut out. So this should do a good clean 40%. Wanna see 40? Yeah, around there. And Ice Beam should pick up the knockout. I'm still trying to, I'm pondering what to do uh, for game three. Uh, Sorry guys, I'm thinking. I'm like, eh, I don't like the Coco P2 lead at all. Sorry, cut out again. I do not like the Coco P2 lead at all. Um, I don't. I feel like I don't get enough offensive pressure, um, and he has a lot of offensive pressure with that lead. Uh, if I go with the Lele Arcanine lead, it's like a 50-50. Yeah, I, I choose, like, what what do I want to really KO, and I don't want to do that as well. Uh, I could also... I could also... I I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out in the next episode. So, we'll, thank you guys for watching. Um, Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'm out. See ya.